All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again now to the Star Ladder Pro Series. My name is Blue. I'm your host for this event, of course, and we've got our second game getting started now between Vega Squadron and Revival. This is the third place, the bronze match, essentially, and we'll be going into our grand finals directly after this one. Vega Squadron versus Revival is our bronze match, and our grand final is going to be Enzo versus Kaz, the British team. That just recently actually took down Revival pretty nicely, so we did see Vega come out on top on map number one here. So this is going to be them leading 1-0, heading into their own map pick as well, as we have a very brutal knife round concluding, and Vega are going to be able to take this one as well. So they'll be starting off on the CT side, as they have chosen to stick here on Dust2 on their own map pick, so they'll get that little bit of a boost at the beginning. Which is interesting, like we said before, these ra these uh, these maps definitely tend to dictate a little bit more towards the T side uh, for both of these teams as of yet, and... Based off the performance we saw from there, Revival do have a lot of work to do on both ends of the equation to really get themselves back into this game if they want to have a chance to upset. Thankfully, from a strategic perspective, which is something they struggled with, at least their matchup versus Kaz, uh, it's not really going to be as demanding on this map. Of course, Dust2, very straightforward. Pretty much every team knows all the strategies, knows everything that can go on this map because it's one of the longest standing maps in CS. Uh, competitively speaking anyway, so these guys have been playing it for so long, you know, so have probably most of you in the chat So pretty much most people know what to do here So now we're gonna see a little bit less uh, a little bit less pressure on them as revival because of that But a good smoke setup comes in here at least that one that favors JR as he's able to get some damage going back onto these players He's on a bomb that'll bring him down to 55 HP, but look at this now you've got undo just coming in They had a good setup to maybe retake it on a surprise play, but this doesn't happen now, oh, it's why he's gonna jump down. He's gonna find the triple shot over there to take down JR. And most of the defenses have been closed out. Mir finding one kill over here after it's my found one. But then Bobna picks up an additional one here as well. That puts it into a three on one. And that will just be Kashander as the final player left up and running at this point to give Revival the first round over here on the pistol round of our second map. So they'll be starting it off on the T side. They'll pick up round number one and be able to grow things from here. Looking at their buys, they go directly for most players. Two scouts, two AKs, and It's My is going to buy up an AK as well. So very, very heavy on the upgrades from these guys. They want to get right down the business. No screwing around for these player players, and already there too. Two kills coming right out there through the mid doors to shut some of these guys down. They pick it right back up, and there's going to be Lamp with another one. Gets the Juan Deke, takes out It's My. So they at least pick up one thing in this round, but how much work can they get is going to be dependent right here on Nikashander. He uses all of his ammo, has to go for the reload there, and undo. We'll find a trade to the earlier frag that they picked up. But now Lamp, he's got an AK, so he might be able to work with something. A scout picked up by Latro as well. These guys do have some guns, but in a three-on-one uh, with very little utility, it's going to be extremely hard to make this retake happen now. And they'll just be out looking for frags, essentially. Lamp looking for something through the mid-doors, but nothing's really there at this point. Most of Revival is either, you know, back over here in T-spawn, waiting to shoot out some of these players, and there you go. There's Bobna with that scout, able to finish off Lamp after he had been earlier injured. And then he's also looking for this final frag, too. Come on, there you go. It's the Tech-9. You can shoot with it. Brings Latro down to four, and he got him. There we go. Takes him out of the play. Latro. Not able to find the shot response onto him quickly enough, so Balbna is going to finish things off there onto the members of Vega. They won't be able to save anything coming out of this round, and Revival will lead 2 to nil. As well, heading into this one, too. Four AKs still up. Kenny versus JW. <laughs> The members of Vega will be on a full save this time. The only thing, that, the only player that has bought anything is Lamp. He's just gonna buy up a P250. Uh, beyond this, everybody else just sticking to the default USPs on these 